Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig. We've gotten a lot of emails here recently about how we do our screen captures for Mac Most. There's a lot of different screen capture software out there for the Mac. Let me show you the ones we use and also some of the other options out there on this episode of Mac Most Now. Now by screen capture software, of course I mean capture to video, not just a regular screenshot. The one piece of software that's been around for a while that does this is Snaps Pro by Ambrosia Software. Now this is a great little piece of software. It allows you to basically screen capture but it's got a bunch of extra features. Like for instance you can decide to capture the cursor or not. You can have the capture area follow the cursor around on the screen and you can save it in a variety of different formats. The software has been around for a while. It's about $69 and it works very well. And one of the annoying things if you use Snaps Pro is that when you're done it takes forever to encode it. So you finish say, a 5 minute screencast, uh, that's a tutorial say, and then you have to wait 5, 10, 15 minutes for it to finish encoding. Well there's one cheap piece of software out there called I Show You that is a very basic piece of screen capture software but has the advantage of encoding on the fly. So when you're done capturing, you're done. Now at the opposite end of the spectrum is one called ScreenFlix. Now ScreenFlix allows you to record your screencast and then it will go ahead and let you export it over and over again in a variety of formats. So you can say record a very small one for quick streaming on the web and then record a larger one for download. And ScreenFlix is also pretty inexpensive coming in at only about $29. Now here at Mac Most we do use Snaps Pro for a lot of things. But we also use Vara Software's Wirecast to record this main podcast. Now that's mo mostly for on the fly video production. And it's got a small attached program called Desktop Presenter that allows us to do on the fly screen captures. But Vara Software also has a new piece of software out called ScreenFlow. And ScreenFlow is a $99 piece of software that allows you to just do screen captures. But it's more than just that. Matter of fact, it's the closest thing to. Camtasia on the PC, which you probably heard about, is the main software that people use on the PC. What ScreenFlow allows you to do is actually record not only the screen but yourself in video as well as multiple tracks and then go ahead and do some editing. It's also got tons of features like be able to feature mouse clicks and key presses and things like that inside your screen capture. So if you want something that's really high level for the Mac, look into ScreenFlow. Now some people have a problem with what to do with a screencast once you're done. Usually end up with a QuickTime movie. So someone like me would just convert that to Flash or upload it to a website like YouTube or Blip TV. But if you want to have something that's Flash right out of the box, then you should maybe look into the $65 Screen Mimic program. Screen Mimic allows you to export your screencast as Flash when you're done right from the program. So there's no other step. So if you're looking to go right to Flash, Screen Mimic is probably the one you want to look at. A new program that should be hitting the market pretty soon is called Screenium. And this is in beta testing right now, but it's due out any time. So check into that. It should be pretty inexpensive at $20. If you're looking for something even cheaper, as in free, take a look at Copernicus. But it's very simple. It just records the screen. So you have to add your audio later in something like iMovie. So that was a quick review of the screen capture software available for Mac. If you know of another one, leave a comment to this post at MacMost.com. So until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. If you like this podcast, be sure to subscribe to it at iTunes and tell your friends and leave us a review there. The reviews really help spread the word about the podcast and help others find it.